All right, we are looking at DLR week 31. You realize the last day of DLR is going to be week 32. How about that? We got one more week of, of traditional DLR. That's right. It's going to be – you guys really, really went through these pretty good this year. Really. Uh, we'll do uh, – I don't know. We'll come up with something. I have, I, have an, I think uh, I bought a new uh, Evan Moore book. Uh, that does the paragraphs. So I think we'll get into those and that'll be kind of like, we'll, we'll make that a fun challenge. All right. So come on down, Fred, come on down, Nate, and let's get after it, it says, uh, week 31, day one. First of all, what's our mantra, Nate? What do we do? We read, then we edit, then we write it out. So let's take a look. It says one of the most enjoying things to be done is fly a kite. Hmm. I think we need a different suffix. One of the most enjoying things to be done is to fly a kite. It just, uh, it's not worded right. Gretchen. Yeah, let's go with enjoyable. You want to give me that spelling? That's correct. One of the most enjoyable things to be done is fly a kite. Hmm. I don't know about that. Would we say to be done or would we say to uh yeah authenticity let's just put to do right one of the most enjoyable things to do is fly a kite i think gretchen once you make that change you're pretty good that's a good sentence let me read it one more time one of the most enjoyable things to do is fly a kite i think that is all done. So for number one, we had two corrections. Yes. Well, you could add that, I suppose. But it also works when it reads like this. One of the most enjoyable things to do is fly a kite. Okay. You guys got it? We have two corrections there. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Sometimes, uh-oh, sometimes it's not that easy to fly a kite, so I will give you some tips. We have, we have two complete sentences sandwiched in between that conjunction, but Fred, your hand went up pretty fast. What do we need to do here? Sometimes is one word. You know how many times I see grown adults mess that up on Facebook? It's don't be that guy. Don't be that. Don't be that person. Ready? Good, Fred. Wait a minute now, Fred. Here's another thing that jumps out at me. Sometimes it's not that easy to fly a kite. You do because what is it? What is really? What is it? It. You could say it is, right? You could say sometimes it is. So it's a contraction. So yeah, let's fix that. Good job. All right, who who else wants to jump in here? We can't let Fred correct the whole thing. He'll do it if we ask him to. Sometimes it's not that easy to fly a kite. What do we need before that conjunction? Annalisa. We do. Comma. So I will give you some tips. Um, I don't think I see anything else. Sometimes it's not that easy to fly a kite. It really is kind of hard to fly a kite sometimes, right? You got to string it. You got to, I don't know. Sometimes, actually, sometimes it's super easy. All depends on what outside. What does it depend on? What? Wind. Wind. Wind is part of the what? Weather. There you go, Nate. a boy. All right, so how many corrections do we have with this? One, two, three. Would it be a good idea to fly a kite in a thunderstorm? No. no. <laughs> Would the kite fly good in a th thunderstorm? Yes. Probably. But it's probably not a good idea. Ben. Yeah, it's Ben Franklin. You'd have uh, elect You would have some electrical issues. You'd have some electrical issues. So, three corrections there. Hold up your DLRs. Let's see how the writing part went for you guys. Uh, some of you need to get them written out, but very good. Most of you have it looking pretty good. Yes. Could you eliminate so? Uh, no, on that one, sometimes it's not that easy to fly a kite. 
you would you could put a period and say I will give you some tips. But I like it. I like the conjunction because we have a subject, I. What's the predicate? We'll give you some tips. Very good. How about this one? It's not that easy to fly a kite. That's that would be like a dependent clause. Yeah. All right, you guys good? Yeah. All right, so we have two for the number one, three for number two. It says use context clues to figure out the meaning of the bold word. So the word we're looking at right now is sufficient. What I want to know are the words that you use to figure out what sufficient means. So it says we're gonna write the meaning on line. Check the weather to make sure you have sufficient wind or the kite will not fly. Hmm. I'm gonna say, Kai will not fly, right? What would you? What did you say for sufficient? What did you say that that, that meant? Yeah, good. yeah. Good wind, uh, good enough, or I'm gonna say just the word enough will do it, right? Sufficient would be enough. You could plug enough in there, and it would be perfect. Check the weather to make sure you have enough wind. Yes. Yeah. Strong, decent would also work. Very good. Those are all good synonyms. All right. How about this one? Write the best word to complete the sentence. All right. So we'll, we'll plug in. We'll use the plug in method, right? Here we go. Find a blank where there is a lot of room to run. A building? Do we want a building to fly a kite in? So let's eliminate that. Forest? Why doesn't that make sense? You're going to be like Charlie Brown with all the kites in the tree, right? Or you're going to hit a tree. Field makes, or you're going to hit a tree, Fred. Yeah, exactly right. F-I-E-L-D. All right, there you have it, you guys. Week 31, DLR Day 1 in the books. Today are out.